In this video I'm going to talk about the header options which in fact it's a big big part of the of the theme and in case you're wondering which is the header this is the one and um, as you probably read on our, uh, our feature sheet uh, we have included the uh, nine header styles these uh, six uh, styles are from uh, previous uh, versions while these uh, three are from uh, the uh, version 4 uh, series so let's take it one by one and uh, show you what uh, they look like As you can see this one has a border at the top and uh, let me try to open a new incognito window so I didn't want that uh, that bar from uh, when uh, logged in you know so here is it uh, this is the style one let me choose style 2 as you can see we can also have a custom height it's usually 100 pixels or so we actually recommend uh, playing with these uh, options and uh, see which one fits better it's up to you as you can see this one has the logo boxed into a, a darker uh, background and let's say four I'm going to skip a bit the header because uh, there there's a lot of them and uh, we have a lot of options to uh, present as you can see this one does not have any border or anything just the logo menu uh, call to action bottom a button the search and this top uh, navigation you can also choose uh, these six are basically the same I mean uh, for example this Style 6 has a white background and a darker text. It's quite the same, only a different uh, color scheme. These three are more uh, more custom and uh, I will just uh, skip to them. As you knew, uh, I think I have one open. You can see this is the uh, style uh, A7 which is uh, uh, included in the, in the demo. It has, it basically has a, a gradient, a transparent uh, background and uh, that's about it. Style 8. Oh, sorry. This one. Style 8, as you can see, it's a bit different. Uh, it's composed by two parts. One is a bit more uh, transparent than the other. The items, it's basically they have the same um, items and uh, content, but they're arranged uh, differently, uh, having a different uh, aspect. For example, as you as you just seen, when I changed this uh, this header style, a new some new options uh, appeared. For example, uh, the top header text, and if you see it's a phone number, let me just save it.
So as you can see now, uh, the menu is centered, the logo is centered, and um, that text, that question text is uh, added uh, right here. It cannot be added into all the headers, so for the moment it's uh, just onto uh, just a part of them. So, like I said, you can. We usually recommend this one as we like it, of course. But the others have also some special options. For example this option which uh, says that uh, do the header should be over the subheader or slideshow let me show you uh, what I mean now currently is uh, it's enabled if you have a look you can see that the, the header is over this slideshow it's transparent and uh, you probably for the sake of the design you want to have it uh, over the slideshow but maybe you don't so for example if you have a if you want a custom uh, color for example say uh, uh, let's say eight sorry Two, I think. Yes, and this option appeared the header style by default is let me show you by default it's uh, it's dark with a box header a box logo sorry and we can have a background image or color uh, I will just use a custom color let's say this uh, orange or no let's say I don't know we have a like let's say blue we saved then we refresh As you can see, the header is blue, but is blue, but completely uh, opaque. So, in this current state, where the slideshow is behind the header, there's really no point in having it uh, behind it. So, it would be better the slideshow instead of starting from this point to start from this point, right? So let's try using uh, this uh, this option, and we're going to disable it. As you notice here, you will notice it's a bit more to the bottom. That's because it will start from this point. Exactly. So, right now it's, uh, it's uh, behind the, it's after the header. Now, as you probably seen, uh, the, this uh, header style option does not appear on all the styles. Many of them have a different markup they have uh, different uh, styles and uh, they're quite complex and uh, they simply don't have uh, these options uh, uh, enabled so I will just turn it to default and as you can see it's generally not available for all for example style, style 9 it is anyway you should uh, just uh, look into the demo and you can see here the all the styles browsing them so I'll just uh, move on with the uh, other options 
you also have uh, this slider here which says uh, header responsive width now this uh, usually users tend to have a, a wider uh, menu and when the browser gets resized it will appear on a second row I mean it's a bit looks a bit broken so that's why as you can see when I'm about to stretch the menu that uh, menu will disappear and this uh, hamburger icon will uh, appear which is actually the trigger for the responsive uh, menu let me refresh <laughs> it's a bit hot in the room so the color of the laptop is uh, it's, uh, the fans are huh, a bit heat heated and I'm going to move forward I'm going to select style 7 because that's the one that I like and sorry uh, as I was saying uh, this uh, this option is actually the point where uh, the resolution the resolution point where the page will display that responsive uh, menu so if you want you can display, uh, display it after 1200 pixels or if you want only on the uh, I don't know smartphone uh, uh, resolution but it's not recommended we left it as default for 1992 which is uh, which is a uh, bootstrap uh, default uh, breakpoint and we have all the responsive styles tied to this uh, 1992 uh, pixel uh, resolution so moving forward uh, show uh, webmla languages by default it's enabled right now it's not because i don't have a, a w e m l uh, installed but you can see it in the Alias demo online and uh, you can display a, log a login uh, button in the header which actually opens uh, oops, sorry. not that one uh, now it appears uh, because I'm logged in it will appear as a, a logout but I already have a incognito window so I'll just use this one as you can see uh, login form is uh, displayed nothing too fancy just a normal uh, uh, button if you want to logo to hide it or not the search uh, button or uh, bar this one and if you want you can uh, show or hide uh, the call to action button from the header now you might have uh, I don't know uh, free quote uh, anything that is related to an action that your visitor wants to make you can uh, enable it and you can change uh, the style it's uh, it has a ribbon style which is this one and it's also a simple line the button and we also have a other options like uh, the background color of the ribbon style, the text, the text color, 
or the link. Now, there's also an info card which uh, appears only when you hover over the lo logo. So it's this one, which holds a few contact details, uh, link to Google Maps, some social icons, a description. It's like a business card for your website, but uh, uh, it's better to keep it uh, just a brief uh, with a brief uh, info. As you can as you can see, if you disable it, all the options of uh, the info card will uh, disappear. By default, it's uh, enabled. And lastly, you can uh, display some social icons in the header. By default, it's uh, enabled. You can see them here. You can select several styles like uh, colored, uh, colored on a hover, and normal uh, icons. By default, it selected the uh, clean icons with absolutely no background or color. But I, for the sake of this uh, tutorial, I'm going to select normal icons and hit save. As you can see, they look uh, different, and you can add as many as you want. We've included uh, uh, a social icon uh, font, which holds a lot, a lot of icons. This is it, and you can see you can choose LinkedIn, uh, Last.fm, basically anything. If you want to add an extra one, you can use the custom um, custom font uh, feature from the Kalias options, which I will explain later. But for the moment, I think what you have can be used uh, with an icon from uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, panel. You can add a title, a link, background color and that's about it so these are the uh, options of the header like I said it's a huge deal as this part is uh, above the fold and uh, as personal recommendations uh, do not use uh, big logos they should be decent in size not too big, but not too small either. Um, use decent colors, not too bright and not too... Uh, I mean, it's your business, but these are my uh, simple recommendations. So, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.